it's Chris Eads, Wutini from GayGamer.net, here with another weekly video podcast. Uh, this this week coming to you from my bedroom, because uh, I can't film in the living room today. But um, that won't stop me from talking about this week's big news, which is the launch of Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS. Um, I know so many people who are super, super duper excited about it, and I'm not one of them, because as I've said before... Um, not a fan of fighting games, and I've only tried Smash a couple of times and I don't like it. So I actually never downloaded the demo of the 3DS game. Um, I'm not going to get it. Um, I'm going to wait and have my friends show me how to play properly on the Wii U version. That should come out maybe November, December, hopefully. We'll see. Um, but I did go to the Nintendo World Store to check out the Smash Brothers launch uh, they launched it at Thursday night. The game actually came out on Friday. So they had a launch Thursday, but not at midnight. Regular stores were selling it starting at midnight. I know some people who went to those. Um, but, uh, I had some friends who were in line at Nintendo World because they were selling it starting at 8 o'clock. Um, and I got there about, like, 7.40 or so, and I checked the line, and it went literally around the block. Like, starts here goes down to the end of the block, goes all the way down that block, and goes back halfway across this block. Um, so, that was a heck of a line. Um, that was about as long as the Pokemon black and white launch line that I videotaped that one time like a crazy person. Um, so I was just like, I didn't think Smash was that big of a deal, but I guess it is. It's humongous. So, um, yeah. Uh, so... There were, it was fun, though. There were some people dressed in costume. There was a villager and a shulk and a... There was also a, a Luigi and Princess Peach. Um, so props to them for getting in costume and getting in line. I just felt bad for the people towards the end of the line because by the time they were getting their game, they could have just downloaded it on the eShop anyway and <laughs> not had to go out and wait in a long line. Um... And the guy who was first in line to buy the very first copy of Smash on the 3DS, uh, he told me he got in line Tuesday. He got there at 11.30, but they weren't letting anybody line up, I guess, until midnight, so he had to just kind of, like, hang out and wander about. And... So he was literally in line for all of Wednesday and then Thursday until 8 o'clock when they sold him his copy. That is nuts. That is almost two full days. He said he was in line for 44 hours, like a crazy person. Um, and it was raining, too. I remember in New York it was raining, so the weather is pretty crap. So that's dedication to a game. So uh, props to him. Um, uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about this week is um, Dance Central Spotlight which I'm really enjoying, I still am, um, however, they still have not quite worked out the entitlement issue regarding the Legacy DLC. Um, the plan was if you had purchased DLC on the 360 for Dance Central, any of the Dance Central games, if that DLC was purchased by your gamer tag on your 360, when they released it again on the Xbox One, you could download it for free. All you had to do was install it. The problem is, is that it never worked. Like, I, it kept asking me whether I went on the Xbox.com website, through the Xbox Marketplace on my Xbox One, or in-game, it always said, $1.99, please. And I said, no, I already own this. Let me download it for free. Unfortunately, that wasn't really happening. Um, just this past week, I was actually able, using the Xbox Marketplace through the Xbox One, uh, I was actually, through my console, able to download uh, seven songs so far that, that there's still like another six that I still can't get because they keep trying to charge me for them. Um, but I don't know what the issue is. It's really frustrating. Um, I can't really... I mean, it's really frustrating. I, I, I appreciate that they're releasing these songs again, uh, for Dance Central Spotlight, 
because they're totally different. Like on the 360, the song would have like four routines, whereas on the Xbox One in Dance Central Spotlight, every song has eight routines. So they're basically redoing routines for these songs, and they're giving them to us for free because we'd already bought that song. So I really appreciate that they're not asking us to even pay like 99 cents, you know, like half price because there's an extra four routines that they're adding to it. Like, I really appreciate that they're giving them away for free, so, but it's also frustrating because it's not really working. So, I appreciate it, but I'd like it to work. And it doesn't bode well, hopefully Sony can get their act together and they won't have the same problem at the end of October when SingStar is released. The new SingStar comes out at the very end of October, and um, they're going to be doing the same thing. It won't be an issue for me, because I'm going to still be playing on the PS3, but and I have a friend who's all excited to re-download all his songs again on his PS4, so he'll have a nice big song library, but I'm hoping that they're able to work that out so that people with PS4s can re-download the PS3 songs that they'd already purchased, and that they don't run into the same problem that Harmonix is doing with Dance Central. So, hopefully another week or so and they'll get that worked out. It's been like a month, so I'm not really, you know, thinking that it's going to happen right away, because it's been a little while already, but I'm sure they'll work it out, uh, eventually. Um, and uh, I'll see you back here next week, because you know what next week is, New York Comic Con, so... Make sure you check out GayGamer.net for uh, coverage and the ever-popular photo galleries of the cosplayers. Hot guys and spandex. Come back next week. I'll see you then. Bye.